Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm just your average potato, and this is Total War Warhammer 3, my first ever Grand Cafe campaign. And I'm really excited to do this. Uh, it's the first time ever doing this at all, playing Warhammer, really, and also recording and putting it on, on YouTube. So if you're watching this, thank you for joining me. And uh, yeah, we'll get started. Here we are, we're gonna play Grand Cafe. Uh, they have some unique things going on with their faction. They have this thing called Harmony, which is a balance of both yin and yang. So you have to try to maintain that a lot. They also have this compass of Wu Zhang, and it uh, helps with this great bastion, which is a very cool feature. And of course, the Ivory Road, where you send out these caravans, and they head to different cities to earn you money. Son of Dragon. So Cathay has uh, two different legendary lords. They have Zhao Ming and Miao Ying. Miao Yang, sorry. Miao Mi Zhao Ming and Miao Ying. Miao Ying, there we go, Miao Ying, there we go. Get these right. I'm gonna probably say a lot of names wrong as they're very sort of uh, Chinese in origin. But uh, really cool uh, faction, really enjoy them. Uh, so we're going to be playing as Miao Ying, and uh, she's got a really cool starting position. Uh, here she is, she's located up here where they got this great wall in a sense where you have to fight off all these hordes all the time. I'm going to be playing on hard difficulty. Uh, here are her effects. So she does minus two corruption, she has 10% leadership when you're fighting the demons of chaos, and she has 20% ammunition for missile units. She also does a 50% missile infantry upkeep reduction, which is nice. And she starts off with uh, the Harmony of Yin, plus three. <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's get started. Don't forget to uh, comment, uh, subscribe, and uh, like the videos. I do appreciate it. And uh, I hope you enjoy this as much as I am going to enjoy this. So let's watch the first opening cinematic. Grand Cathay, a vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the Storm Dragon. Older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, but the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shenzhou, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan Mountains but was lost. Without her, without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you, Iron Dragon? There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Ursen, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursen, lead you to him before it's too late, for one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. The armies of Cathay must breach the Maelstrom and march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shenzhou is returned to you. Bum bum bum. Okay. Our goal is clear. 
To find the lost sister, we must hear the God Bear's testament before he passes into myth. I am the anointed guardian of the Great Bastion. Any breach brings great dishonor upon me. So prove your worth, mortal. Yes, Great Matriarch. There is indeed a rupture in the Great Bastion. The forces of Tsinch invade through the ruins of the Snake Gate and have taken the Terracotta Graveyard. Further along, the Bastion remains under threat from the Changer's forces, or, as you know him, the dread power Chianchi. Yet, despite the enemy assaults, there remain brave defenders ever loyal to you. Bolster them, and they will gladly confederate with a revered dragon. You will need such allies, for it is on the other side of the wall where the threat is strongest. The eternal siege continues, for the dark powers are never sated. And there, the orchestrator of this woe, Kairos Fateweaver. Face this demonic oracle, lest he bring down the Bastion. Fate Weaver is insidious, and the invasion is only part of his plan. Rebellion festers in Nanyang's minds under the Changer's malign influence. Punishment must be swift to reinforce your authority. Before we can hope to take the fight into the Chaos Realms themselves, we must bring harmony back to Grand Cathay. There is much to do. The North must be defended. Right, so here we are, Grand Cafe, Miao Ying, and how they play. All aspects of development in Cafe are aligned with Ying and Yang. Bonuses are earned and penalties are suffered based on the balance between the two, which is, as you can see up here, we are into three yin right now, so we get some positives, but there's also a negative there. We get a negative five income. Uh, the Wu Yang Compass influences the flow of the Winds of Magic around the Cathayan homelands. Rulers of the, Cath the Celestial Empire may use its power to bolster their defenses, enrich their lands, and divert harmful magic away to the desert. The Ivory Road. Cathayan factions can send trade caravans to the west along this perilous Ivory, Ro Ivory Road. Choices will be made and challenges to overcome on the expeditions to be successful. So here we go. First mission is to attack that little army over here, uh, the rebellion army, and uh, we'll get a thousand gold or treasury and we'll get an astromancer. Perfect. So here we are. As you can see, big great bastion wall over here, the chaos wastes, and uh, they said chaos is down here somewhere. Um, but here are the Cathayan lands. We can't see too much right now. Fog of war is obvious. And uh, so we'll go to Miao Ying, who's got a very great uh, little starting army here. We've got one Celestial Dragon Guard. This is the top of the line. As high as you can go, the best you can get. Then we got two Jade Warriors, a Peasant Long Spearman, another top of the line Celestial Dragon Pro Crossman. Very, very good. Uh, more Peasant Archers. And uh, we've got some peasant horsemen. I will try to keep them alive. I'm not very good with uh, cavalry for some reason. They seem to die a lot. And a sky junk, which is really awesome. These are the most powerful artillery, personally. I think they're the best. And uh, you'll see why in a few minutes. Uh, not even. I'll probably go right into this battle now. Because there's not much else we can do. Here's our main starting city. Uh, oh, wow. We got Nango Forge here, which means we could pop out some Iron Hail Gunners if we wanted to. Of the um, we might remove that building later on and we also have some oh yes what's this the ninth wall wow one of the ninth concentric walls that circle Nangao the ninth wall is the tallest and most deadly not that any enemy has ever breached the others wow very cool so we can build that once we get this city up to a higher level but right now we can't do any of that uh, we could pop in a building uh, but we're just going to wait until the we take on this army right daughter. here so, without further ado, um, we can also pop some technology, 
And again, when you pick a technology, some of them will give you yin and yang, which will affect your balance up here, of course. Uh, right now, since we're three out, we probably want to try to get some uh, balance. So we will go to leadership for peasant spearmen. It's going to take four turns. And then maybe we'll jump up to that one. For the defense effort. So they've only got a little army here, but we'll go yeah. ahead and head over to it. So here's the battle screen. We can see they have two peasant spearmen and some peasant archers plus the hero. It's a decisive victory if we auto resolve it, but I always like to fight the first one. Uh, so we can jump on in and see what the uh, see what they look like. Take a look at uh, Miao Ying. Uh, she is really cool. One of the cool things that she can do while well, in the battle campaign map is turn into a dragon, which is a really cool thing to watch. Alright, so starting off here, we have some magic. I think we'll try to gamble, see if we can get a little more. Ooh, nope, that didn't go well. Okay, lost a little more magic. Alright, so let's go down Mistress to our troops swords. and take a little look. Here is Yao Ming. Very cool, looking really neat. And over here we have the Celestial Dragon Bow Crossman, looking very cool. Peasant Spearmen, obviously. Or, sorry, Archers. Very neat. Love these little animations here. And we'll head over to the Jade Warriors, which are very cool looking warriors. I, I mean, I love it. Jade sort of armor. They have sort of like hidden little faces in there. Very nice, good infantry, and then the dragon spearmen are just unbelievable to look at. Yeah, very, very cool. Check them out. Looking very neat. And of course the uh, sky jump, which is up here. Very neat weapon. It's got an iron hill cannon right here, fires these missiles out, and plus it's got these gunners up top sniping away, which is very, very cool. Oh, and uh, some, let's take a look at the peasant long spearmen. Your standard spearmen just hanging out. Okay, let's get our army set up here. So one of the cool things about this is their yin and yang balance, you'll see. Praise so what I'm gonna do dragons. is group these guys together, keep my spearmen on the Ready outside to cover the flanks, stretch them out into a nice, uh, pretty chunky line there. Then what you wanna do is obviously get your archers behind, you stretch them out. A little bit like so and then you get these balance you get this harmony balance in there so they get this extra boost from being harmonized see my archers right now uh, my horses don't have anyone to be harmonized with so they're just gonna stay out there but we're gonna put them out on the flank try to see if we can get them in them behind Wind and fire. move that up that's gonna fire right away now ying get her ready to go and let's start the battle Firing. Today we face evil. Whoa. Today, as on all days, we shall smite it. Stone and steel. Trying to get them to fire a little more. I'm just going to move it out a little bit in front here because it can drop bombs as well, which is a really cool little little thing. The celestial daughter. So she's got a heal and uh, speed. Stop and a melee, magical melee attack. And we can also transform her into a dragon. Well. Okay, I'm gonna get the sky jump to fire on the missile troops now as our missile troops start firing in. The storm dragon. They are shooting my uh, Get the cavalry to go in as well. Now Ying about to dive in. She's some really cool animations. Oh, she's fighting. Oh, they're retreating. Run away! Here come my horses, charging after. Oh, better stop my. Uh, yeah, we don't want that to happen. Fire any more into my horses. Good charge there from them. 
we'll transform her into a dragon now. Let's watch her transform. Very cool. Get her to go after him. He's still charging in. Oh, no. He got too afraid. Get him. Get him anyways. Easy battle one. I don't think we lost a single person there. Maybe one or two. Took a little damage on the sky jump. Oh, he is done. Oh, look at him go. Flying. Well, that's what happens when a giant dragon's taking you out. Oop. Bouncing around. Alright, we'll just end it there. Easy win for us. Yeah, zero losses. Excellent. Which is what I wanted. If I had auto-resolved, I probably would have lost a few people. Which is fine. But um, we want to keep pushing. We don't want to take any losses right now because we will have to probably attack a city here soon. Which, you're always going to have losses when attacking a city. Alright. Get some loot. XP, not enough to level her up though. It's fine. And then we have some options here. We can um, pardon the captives and get some extra money, but we take we don't replenish as much, which is not that fine. But this will give us replenishment, and uh, we could execute them for leadership for five turns. I think we'll just take a little bit of the healing. We don't need any money right now. We're fine. There we go. Mission successful. Boom. Send your new hero to join your army. Okay, so we have a new hero. Yu Tang Nan Men. Um, I will put him in the army right now, but the thing is, is with Miao Ying, uh, we will level her up here at some point uh, when we do level her up. But uh, she is has all these great spells here. Uh, Storm of Shadows, this m Missile Mirror... Very powerful healing spells, and then she's got these regrowth, Talons of the Night. Very, very good spells. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him in the army, because he Let's can all... Provide. These guys, these heroes, this Astromancer, can uh, do stuff on the campaign map, like block armies or wound other enemy heroes, steal some technology to help boost your research. So I'm not sure, if, but for now, we will put him in the army, because it's a mission, be woven. and it will give us... Storm Dragon. Some more money. Excellent. Mission done. Woohoo! Alright, we can build something here. That's now, it. what are we gonna build? We need growth. So, we will go for a growth building, which is good because it will give us a, a Yang, which we need to get back to harmony for. So, in the growth building goes. One turn to build. Ready now, to you defend. can still keep moving. I don't, can we get to that town or not? I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting. We can also send out a caravan. All right, so this is the caravan. Yep, we don't need to know any more about that. Uh, this is the only caravan we can get right now. Pretty good one. They have come with pre-select troops. We can recruit another one. This is called Humbleborn uh, for 750. He had, let's see, he's got a casualty replenishment rate plus 9% for peasant lung spear. And peasant, that's actually not too bad. What's Miao Cheng got? Let's check him out. Experience for the Lord's army is plus 25, so this Pride army will level up not undeserved. That's interesting. Um, and it, the troops are already veteran, which is nice. So that already gives them a boost. Rank 4. I think we will stick with this guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some cargo. It's going to cost us a thousand, but now we get to pick a destination to go to, which is very cool. And when you get to go to these destinations, uh, you end up getting like unique rewards out of them. So as unfortunately though, as you uh, move through this area, you start making lots of enemies and uh, it, it things get really tough really quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the here um, because I think we want, there's, some pretty cool loot to get there and that's one I think the most expensive one we can get to uh, we don't know what much of what the route looks like I can kind of select it here we know that oh yeah it's gonna be see high threat already right off the bat so interesting 
So we're gonna go ahead and dispatch it. Off it goes. Is there it is. Uh, nothing we can do. We can sometimes you can put a hero in there, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So. Miao right. Ying. Miao Ying. We can also recruit if we wanted to. Or we can push right in here, I think. Or do we have enough? Can we take this? Check your weapons again. Let's take a look. Come look over at the mines in Yan Ying. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Emperor's one, two, chosen three, four, daughter. Five, six, seven. Yeah, see, I'm a little worried about that. I think Storm what we do Dragon. is recruit. Serve yeah. me. Let's recruit in. Serve the Emperor. None may refuse my call. An archer and a peasant. When Miao Ying Let's asks, go. you answer. And we'll end the turn. My siblings All right. Conspired so they want us to capture and clear the mines. Now, i got to be careful here. It looks like there is a <laughs> Beastmen rogue army and also Interference is trying to push in on dear. but I think we Favorite. can take we're gonna go in here boom oh it's a fear of victory but we'll lose both our peasant spearmen so we are gonna have to fight this and hopefully we can win this I really do hope we can and not take too many losses, although Miao Ying's quite the boss. She is very powerful. Plus, the less losses we take, we don't have to worry about that army that was pushing up there that might try to come and get us. Alright, so... Should channel. Hopefully we can get it. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Oh, it didn't change. All right. Well then. Okay. Um. So kind of a direct approach, I suppose. Now, where's their vict? They have a victory point. That's one of the key buildings there. I think what I'm going to try to do on this one is I'm going to take my horsemen. I'm going to hide them over here. They're hidden. Yep. And I'm going to sneak, try to sneak them in, capture some points over here, because again, or at least come in from behind. I'm going to keep the rest of my main force over. Yeah, over on this side, because I'm going to use the sky junk to bombard them. Um. Group these Stand all, got all up. Just move them together like so. We're gonna take them off formation attack as well. Never the celestial conquer. dragon in the middle. Move them together like so. We're gonna put this right up at the front. And uh, they're probably gonna, sh they're probably build a tower right here. So we'll have to be careful about that. And Master of Tempest. Right here. This gentleman, our astromancer, he's a bit, they're, they're not very tanky and they, they can't, they can't really do too much, unfortunately, but, you know, they're, he can do some stuff, he can uh, at least increase our melee defense and attack, so, let's go, let's start. Stone and steel. Start firing on those guys. I'm gonna grab Never this whole conquered. group, move them forward ever so slightly. With joy. Start tightening these guys up it a little bit. Mated. Archers! March in ordered ranks! Fight as one! Yeah. Don't want to bring those guys in quite yet. Dragon Guard! Ancestors. 
order and balance. Move as wind. Long spears, move in formation. Understood. Peasant archers. Seeking Cathay's foe. Tower's gonna be up in 83 seconds here. The Celestial Faithful. Minds as one. For the Emperor! Bringing harmony! Move in formation! For the Moon Dragon! Thoughts in harmony! Wind and fire! Move as wind! March in ordered ranks! Wind and fire! Marching as one! Defend the realm! For the you know, in here. My path is known! My mind is ready! Shenyan's faithful! For the Emperor! Mage of the Celestial Court! Shooting in, please. Dragon Guard! Emperor expects! Seeking Cathay's Drop a bomb on them. Who knew? Spears! And... That should be pretty good. Oh, nice. Archers to take this down actually quickly. Oh, come on, guys. The moon, get in here. Archer er, horses. Come around here all the way. Oh boy. Peasant spearmen. We obey. Attack in unison. Peasant archers. I think the storm her up and turn her into a dragon. Blow. Harmony. They will perish. Spears. Execute them. Bringing harmony. Move as wind. Stone and steel. Move as wind. Thoughts in 
harmony. Fight as one. Never conquer. Celestial fury. This should be the end of these guys. Come on. Defend the road. Horsemen! Will of the Dragon! Defenders of Cafe! The Celestial Daughter! I stand ready! Peasant archers! Understood! There we go. Boom. Done. Okay. That was a lot. Whew. Sorry if I got a little quiet there. I get a little focused in. Don't want to lose too many people. But we did okay. Those peasant spearing took a little bit. The horsemen did well. 49 but kills. But they also took some damage as well. But we all knew that was going to happen. Because I'm not great when it comes to the cavalry. But nonetheless, city claimed... So, we have some options here. We can raise it. We could sack it for some money. We could loot and then occupy it, which gives us some money, but also uh, some conquest penalties, which is not great for public order. We're just going to go ahead and occupy it, it to reduce it. Boom. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Item's done. We get a little item as well for the Yao Ying. She also leveled up quite a bit, so the first thing we're going to do when we go into this is always Root Marcher, because who doesn't love a little extra campaign movement range? Uh, the next thing we're going to do is... Hmm, this is tough. Do we go spells? Do we make Yao know, Ming start to become an absolute tank, a boss? She can get really powerful as we move up through her uh, different... Uh, sort of what we call, the, I believe, the yellow line. Um... She's got some really interesting abilities up here. Uh, things that you're going to want to get later on. Construction for the Great Bastion buildings, which is very important. 10% uh, missile range, you got to love that. And a reload reduction, which again, really, really nice. So a lot of good uh, buffs for her missile troops here, which is what I love. I love the missile troops in this game. Uh, but for right now, I think we'll just keep going with her spells because we want to make her very powerful. Our Astromancer is leveled up as well. Um, and that's a nice little boost. We're going to add that in there. Ready to defend. I believe we did get uh, some items. Yes, a Potion of Toughness, which is nice. She also has a ooh, Recruit Rank for Jade Warriors and Jade Halberts, which is nice in the local province. That's an ancillary. And a magic item of Potion of Toughness, which makes her even stronger. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. Um, yeah. All right. The storm we do have some buildings to upgrade, which is more growth, which is what we need for sure. Construction costs for buildings in the local province, that's important as well. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that. Here they, we can get some horses if we want to. I'm actually going to get rid of that building. I don't think we really need it right now. we got to look at... Um, this has a... Uh, let's see. Mine's an Anyang. Uh, we want to look at putting some of our lower tier buildings in here. Trying to get some more growth in and maybe some more money. So, right, that looks like all we can do for our second turn of the game. There's some enemies there we might have to worry about. But for now, we'll just replenish up and... Oh, let's actually go to Diplomacy. Let's see if there's anything we can do to help... You know, increase our trade, go to Quick Deal, which is a really cool feature they've added in this uh, Total War. Uh, number three, which is to show you who's sort of ready to do anything. A non-aggression pact with the Imperial Wardens is probably a the good idea. You also get trade and military access. And let's see if they'll get... Oh, they'll throw us some money as well. Harmony so is we'll take that. That's nice. Oh my. So these are the ogres here we could trade with. The Western Celestial provinces. That's my Batman. brother, basically. The other sort of faction. He becomes really... As you get more powerful, because he's sort of the opposite of you... Um, eventually he it'll be you and him left over usually and he's really hard to confederate with so there is a mod to help uh, simplify that because eventually you should be able to confederate with your brother 
I don't see why not. Um, so let's see. Any Armand trade you can get with the loyalists. They're at the top here. They're they have uh, a, one of the bastion. There's some of their strength, and uh, we're gonna there take that many trade. We'll take military access and we'll see if we get some money out of them. We can. This. Beautiful. Anything else we can get? Celestial Defensive alliance, ancestors. military alliance, no. Confederation right now looks impossible, but that's of course because it's early game. No peace with the rebels or the dissenter lords. They both look like they're coming up after us. So we'll just head back down to the main map. As you can see, this is the uh, map here. Yeah, they've really gone up into this sort of, this whole area here is the chaos uh, realm uh, where we'll head to eventually. Um, but it's really interesting to see this map, uh, this side of the map from the first two games. I really enjoyed it. I, now, I haven't played any of the first two games. Um, I've been a big viewer of this, a big watcher. I've always wanted to do this, and so this is why I've, uh, this is why I'm doing it now. And as you can see, there's this whole area over here. It's all blurred out. There's the corner, actually you can see the corner of where the map is, but eventually they're going to put all three of these maps together and it's gonna be like one huge world. I'm really excited to see what they do with all this extra space over here. I think they're gonna utilize it. Should be interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna end the turn and see what happens. Oh, looks like Hao Tao, I hope I say that right, fought the, the Beastmen and won. Our caravan has, incre has an encounter, the stranger. Ah, interesting. As the caravan comes to a halt for the night, a stranger wanders into the ad hoc camp. Stopped by the guards, he begs an audience with the caravan master. His offer is to join the retinue. For no pay, there is safety in numbers, but he will help protect the caravan. So I get a choice. I can either add a hunter to our group, which is a really powerful ogre. Um, and yeah, he's an anti, he's really, really good. I. Why wouldn't you want him in your army? We're going to be fighting ogres. Might as well good to have an ogre on your side. So, maybe you'll be some use. Boom, we've added him to our army. There we go. The faction Redhorn tribe. We just saw them die from now. We have a new capture and occupy the snake gate. Ah, over here. Okay. Maybe we'll get some money for that. I, will, I do want to do that to stop uh, chaos from spilling in. As you can see, the... Um, Zeech army over here has taken the terracotta graveyard, busted through the wall. We want to get to that snake gate as soon as we can. The but Empress right now, I want to get rid of these guys. And uh oh, he's building up here as well. So what are you? he's really hurt. So let's go ahead and just knock him right out. I think is what we're going to do. And here, let's throw more growth in. Another yank. So gonna... of the great bastion. Oh, he's going to run. And the now we didn't can never be see. Why would I engage from across the river and then now it's maybe come all the way? Oh, okay, well, where? interesting. I still have enough. Tri okay, I will take that game. Of the Boom! It's a decisive victory. Um, I'm gonna take the auto resolve. Low casualties. We'll see how bad it. Evil. It is. No, it's not too bad. We lost the 173. I probably could have done a little better, maybe, but. That's not a resolve. We want to keep moving on. We'll take the replenishment for now. Oh, and we're just short of trying to get to that. Interference will cost you dearly. All right. Well, we'll move to here. Can't recruit. Serve the emperor. So we'll just we'll see. Maybe if he comes out. If not, we might be able to take the army. We can level her up now. we want here I do like getting this early the you know buffing up your troops early on as well so I am gonna get her inspiring presence uh, because we do earn more experience and it also gives her a little bit more leadership size which is great when you're fighting the and bastion's defense requires it that's it I don't think we can do anything else just check Quick deal one more time, see if anyone wants to trade. No, nothing here, all right. And that's a quick turn there. Sometimes the quick turn's at the beginning of the game. Recruit 20 units, current total is zero. All right, so grow your force. 
We can't quite do that right now. We're gonna push in here and see how this looks. It's a Fearic victory. Oh boy. Yeah. Alright. I think we need more troops. What we are gonna do is encircle. Check out the buildings to upgrade. Growth there. Ooh, it's compass time. Here we go. We get to pick what we want to do. Now, we get four options. There's the Great Bastion, which is more defensive. We don't have any of those right now. It also helps reduce the threat, right? I think if you look at all four of them, this one is Winds of Magic, Sidley. This is sort of almost all... It helps you reduce corruption and gives you more leadership. But right now, we don't need any of that. Control in the Cathay region, again, don't really need that. And then it gives you a little... Uh, what we call the Dragon Emperor's Wrath. It's really cool. You have to build it up, but once you get there, uh, anything beyond the Great Bastion, which is that huge wall, uh, becomes uh, starts taking mad take a lot of attrition. So what we're going to do is go with Celestial Lake because we need more growth in the region. It also is going to give us income and uh, help us increase our Winds of Magic, which is always helpful for Yao Ming. So, boom, that's what we've decided there. And we're just going to end the turn. Uh oh. Okay, so a bit of a problem. Disharmony threatens our order. Zeech has made a, a run for the mines of Nanyang, which is not good because we are. have a very weak garrison right now. So I'm stuck in a rock and a hard place. Do I continue this siege? <laughs> Or do I break it off and try to go save? Might of the storm. Oh no. Oh no. That's a, a good, 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 in, we interesting. Shall defend, Cathy. The problem is, is if I break this off, can I get back? I can actually. So what I am, I'm gonna, I don't want to lose this city that I just captured and they're gonna build up anyway, so I might as well build up as well. So I'm going to break the siege. I'm gonna rush over to the mines of Nanying. Oops, I should change this by the way. All right, there we go, make everything faster. Um, and we'll try to recruit up, I guess. Has need. I think we need some more. None may refuse my call. Yeah. To fight for me is an honor. Okay. Favored daughter. More tech. More tech. Growth, yes, please. For the defense effort. Because we need one more, Yang. Here we go. Here we go. This is nice. This is this is always easy first caravan. Uh, Miao Cheng caravan. The caravan has been tracked, followed. After ringing into a defensive position and drawing weapons, the potential enemies emerge and turned out to be friends. A patrol that has wandered far from home, from its borders. All right. So we can add some jade warrior crossbowmen, crossbowmen with shields, which is nice. Or two ogre... Interesting. Interesting. Now, I have four missile troops. And a nice big front line. What would be better? Three more missile troops. Or ogre bulls. Which are this sort of monstrous infantry. Which would be really cool to have. I'm going to try the sword brothers. We'll see how that works. Ooh, an old woman has... Gri oh, wow. We get another potion of toughness. Very nice. Oh my, what is going on here? Oh, chaos is pouring in. Yeah, this is... I might want to seal up this gate, I think, first. <laughs> the majestic defender. Because this is not good. Oh my. I think I need Ready more to troops. Defend the Can I take out Harwolf, do you think? Oh, the see, and they're going to bring in this army as well. It's a fear of victory right now. I'd lose almost all my troops on this. Alright, we're going to retreat from that. We're going to go back into the city and we're going to get some more troops because we need them. Serve me. 
a pistol in this phone. Yeah, we are stuck right now, unfortunately. This is not good. We need some help. And there's nothing we can do in diplomacy, so that's we're just gonna have to go ahead and end the turn. See what happens. This is not looking good. Okay, here we go. Decisive victory. Oh, they're coming in to attack me, and they have... Oh, they brought both their armies in. If I do an auto-resolve, I'm going to lose my horses, so we're going to have to fight this. Which is neat, because uh, you guys haven't had, had a chance to see a defensive battle yet, which will be fun. Hopefully I can limit the casualties here. The other thing is they're going to come in one at a time, one army from... Only problem is one from behind and one from the other side. Uh, they're both pretty evenly though, so hopefully we can just take out one while the other side well the other side just holds. Okay. Channel the magic. And it went it pays it pays off, but it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So they have split their force off a little bit into two bits, but one waiting on the reinforcement side. That's where their missile troops are, interesting. Good thing is I've got the extra little garrison here so I can uh, create quite the little force to defend both sides. So what we're gonna do is, since there's more on this side, but the reinforcements will come from that side, I will stack a little bit of a smaller force on this side. I think I'll start with the garrison over here. Um, take these two guys. Uh, let's just group these up. Dragon go. So that's my Stand army guy. Together, else die apart. <clears throat> and then, excuse me there, uh, take the garrison troops. The celestial stay faithful. here. Our archers. We'll keep the horsemen together. The celestial faithful. And we'll see if we can... Yeah. Nice. We'll just put them right out here and then just flank around and get these guys. Try to wipe them out as quickly as can. Um... Wind and fire! Stack them like that. And those guys on top of them. Warriors! The warriors just behind. Warrior crossbows! Warrior crossbows right there, boom. Got two <laughs> sorcerers, so we'll put one here. And put the others here. So they're gonna come in from this side here. We can build a tower as well, can we? Piercing. I kinda wanna get a cannon tower, so we're gonna wait. Uh, so here. Spearmen. Right here. Dragon Guard, put them right in the middle of it as well. Jade Warriors just waiting. Hmm. To attack from the sides if they get through, maybe. And then all our Dragon Guard here just firing down as they try to come in. Can I put them? Oh, I can. Yeah, they get a little bonus. I'm pretty sure so I'm put them on here while these two are here in harmony. Mine as there. one. Jade warriors. That get a little boost. Thoughts in harmony. I'm trying to actually so that they're a little more narrow firing down. Yeah, you know, Ying over here to take out right here, so she can go right out there. In a boost. Ah, uh, yes, and to fire. Okay, I think that's everyone. Start. Grab these Horse horses. Man. Marching as one. Hopefully this is firing. Fire! 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 By celestial decree. For the emperor. March for she the emperor. Right see what's going on over here. Is 
Well, so we'll knock them all back. Ooh. So. Stone and steel. The emperor's will. Nice. That's a great charge right there. Beautiful. Just hold them a little longer and pull them out. Is they are taking some damage. Side's doing. Oh, just killing it. Praise the oh, now we can get over here and help kill that guy. Behold the tempest, order and balance. They will perish. Oh. So troops, horses getting caught again. Horses, no! Uh -oh. I lost power. No, both of them. They're retreating. Hopefully they'll stay alive long enough. Harmonious wrath! Crossbowmen! Whatever is required! Oh, keep going, horses. Keep them distracted, hopefully, for a while. The Celestial Daughter. Stone and Steel. Oh god, okay. Come on, you can win this. Come on. Horseman! For the Emperor! Harmonious Brook! I don't how are they not winning? Come on. These peasant when horsemen are fire. are weak? I do not Come on! The Will of the dragons. There we go. Okay. Whew. Oh no. Those horsemen. There's eight left, so they should make it. Alright, we gotta move. Oh, here they come again. Jade Warriors! Yeah, I think we can. I think we can safely say they have oh, we should build a tower. Yes. Ooh, we got a magic one now. Whew. Lucky lucky. Bring the other Jade Warriors over. March in order the ranks. For Cathay. Oh, she can't do that there. Do it here. guys around in time. I'm hoping that they'll just be defeated before that even happens. So. Start shooting those missile troops. Should be in range. Start firing soon. Perfect. Let's watch them come in. Is tower ready yet? Oh, nice. Perfect timing for it to be ready. Okay, meow. Go.
Beautiful. So let's let them shoot them all so there's not too many left when they try to return. Excellent defense, not too bad for the loss. Settlement garrison 88, only lost 54, which is good. Those horsemen took a bit of a beating again. Not great with cavalry, but trying my best. Trying my best. Although I think the peasant's cav is just pretty weak in general, so. But we didn't lose anyone like the auto resolve said it would, so we're gonna take that replenishment no for sure. Okay, looks like. Oh, uh oh, we got ambushed by ogres. Okay, um, I, let's see, I think we can finish this. I'm gonna go ahead and fight this and then we'll wrap up the episode here for today. Um, again, thank you if you are watching this, I do appreciate it. This is my first attempt at trying anything like this ever. Um, so if you have any suggestions about uh, volumes or settings or anything, just, you know, let me know. Go ahead. Here we are. So as an ambush, we're here going to just be walking. Move in harmony and, we shall prevail. and we're just all of a sudden going to be attacked. There's our hunter. It's huge. Here we go. I am going to pause this. Um, I know some people would not pause it and, you know, would... Uh, you know, just let it happen, but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna pause it because this is my first time doing something like this and try my best. Uh, and I want to try to keep these armies as live. Again, I'm playing on hard. I've never done this before. I've done a bunch of normal campaigns just to try to get used to the game itself. Uh, but, man, it's tough. Okay, so let's get our missile troops who are being immediately targeted, which is good. Good job, AI. We're gonna try to see if we can pull them back quickly. Group our... Uh, sort of infantry troops try to move them forward but I, what I am going to do is take them off formation attack and then individually make some moves here like going after I think I want what do we got here this is closest there I want the ogres attacking here and going here this peasant's long spearmen go there Two Jade Warriors go there against the Noblars. This here and him there, and you shoot him. All right, let's um, also take this off. off. Take them off their defensive so they keep attacking. The target I told them to attack, and let's play it out. Let's see how it happens. Here. Oh, I think I got my missile troops away in time. Luckily. In my sights, I am prepared. Thoughts in harmony. Eom. Oh, yes, peasant Arter. This is going pretty good. Fight no pose right now. Go, 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 go. Personification of a law. Born to command. Yes, okay. Whew. Managed to get out of that pretty good. We're just going to end the battle right there. Because you don't have to worry overly too much about these armies attacking you again after that. We didn't take too many losses, which is great. So our caravan is going to survive. Woohoo! And hopefully we can get to the end of this turn. And we'll wrap up the episode. Victory. Take some money. Nice healthy income right now. Nice, some ranks gained. And uh, we are back. Perfect. At the end of the turn. 
Okay, so as you can see, we still got a lot to do here. Uh, we got this army to take care of. We've got all these chaos forces. Uh, I guess chaos, you could call them Norskin, really, but yeah. They're just pouring in. Uh, good thing we got a okay garrison at Nangal. Uh oh. That could be trouble. He's raiding, though. What we gotta do is get this gate closed, because I believe all the other gates are, yes, closed right now. So this is why we're, this is the problem. We gotta go over there and close that gate. Uh, we also still need to complete this province. He's building up more troops, which is gonna make that tougher. We've got some upgrades to do, but we'll save those for next time. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning into this first episode, my ever first episode. It'll be up on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. I'm uh, Average Potato, signing off. Hopefully, I will see you on the next channel.